Hey everybody and welcome to the Judge Dread unboxing. As I've mentioned in previous videos this week, I'm having a lazy one. I'm doing a load of unboxings. Just wasn't in the mood for painting. So this week for Judge Dread, we're gonna open the hover van, see what it looks like inside. Hopefully, maybe even paint it next week if all goes to plan. I kind of just lost my mojo this week for painting so I decided rather than force it for a video I was just going to take a break instead now this is a massive box it is almost my hand in whip and it should make this recycle hover van sorry I'm making some terrible noise here uh, let's have a look so it's the hover van inside we should get the resin hover van a vehicle card, decal sheet, and two meg cards. I do love the meg cards. Right, nicely bubble wrapped. Is that one piece? I was not expecting it to be one solid piece. If I can get that is, it's just one solid piece. I'll zoom in. There we go. Yep, really was not expecting that. Packaged by Anna and Lewis. Little info sheet. Wow, this is proper resin. It's got some nubs here to be chopped off. Some underneath. Nothing unusual there. We'll clean up on this piece. You can just see it's slightly slipped, maybe, in the mould. A couple of air bubbles, but this is all on the base, so I'm not too worried. The spray will probably cover that. The top looks very nice, looks very sharp. I'm not seeing any bubbles on the top. Lovely. It's this slight indent here, which doesn't really affect anything. A slight cleanup. That is, I could knock somebody out of this. It's solid all the way through. And then we got the flight stand, similar to previous ones. So that would just go there. That is a beast. Look at it. I knew it was big, I just didn't appreciate how big it was going to be. Do people stick them on the flying base or do we just assume they're always hovering? It sits perfectly there. Oh, this is going to be fun to paint. I absolutely adore this. This is getting painted up as a kidney hut van. I know it's, they've got recycle stuff, but I'm all about the kidney hut. Let's have a quick look at the cards. Ah! Ah! Stuck to me. Get out of it. Oh, I'm definitely buying more hover vans. It's so cool. Right, let's see what we got. We got the hover van. Vehicle, no weapons, grab eight passengers, move nine inches, four, nothing, five, two, 19 points. So I'm thinking pizza. Uh, not pizza, kidney hut, and then the blood packers can use it as their little ride around the block. Uh, grav, I'll let you read that. You can pause and read if you want. Then we have the simp parade. Fight blunders into a simp parade or the other way around. All models within nine inches of an edge must test against their cool. Any failed or pinned, that is a cool card. And in playing dead, replace all injury and stun markers on one model with a single stun marker. This can bring a model back that has been incapacitated or subdued. Ooh, they're two pretty good cards. Hidden away in a vehicle. Very cool, very cool. I am actually super stoked about this. How friggin' cool is it? Imagine like kidney and then hut written on it and then 
draw a kidney <laughs> on the back and on these parts. That is so cool. Just got to get these bits cleaned up. Lovely piece of kit. Highly recommend buying that one, guys. I'm probably going to get a couple more. Oof, love it. So there we go, the hover van in all its glory. With a little moody flying past. I'm definitely going to have fun. Look at the size difference. That's crazy. It's massive. I was very shocked at how big this model is. Let's uh, find a model to put next to it. Oop. That's... it's huge. I don't know what else to say. I love this model. I'm definitely going to try and pick up some more. If all Lord Games are feeling generous and want to send me some more, please send me one. I'd love another one or two to add to the collection. But until next time, cheers for watching.